Hey guys, this is SnackAttack8, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Blind. And this is part 51, and that was called the dramatic pause version of the Final Fantasy VII intro. <laughs> uh, but yeah, in the last episode we came here... Whoa, that was jumbled. In the last episode, we came here to this town that I forgot to check the name of. And uh, we met Sid, who is bummed because he's not able to fly his rocket anymore. But he seems to think that President Rufus coming will give him another chance. And that might be true, but it's probably also going to be bad news. <laughs> so I don't know. I, we, in the last of us, we sort of explored the whole town. And we talked to Sid, and I thought that was going to trigger something. But I don't know. So yeah, I was going to come back here and talk to Shara. And it seems like that was the right idea. So, excuse me, Cloud? I don't know, is she another researcher? Didn't... I feel like I might have missed something about her. Maybe she just works with Sid. Did the captain say anything? Nope. Oh. And Sid's not happy. Shara, what are you, blind? We got guests! Get some tea! I'm sorry. Yeah, really, don't mind us. We don't even like tea that much. <laughs> Sit your ass down in that chair and drink your goddamn tea. Well, <laughs> maybe Sid's just really enthusiastic about tea. Who knows? He's mad. Be in the backyard tuning up Tiny Bronco. Make sure to serve him some tea, alright? I guess. You don't have to be so harsh, though, dude. Uh. Yeah, Vin <laughs> Vincent's just like, uh. Awkward. Uh, so, yeah, it's our fault. Sorry about that. He's always like this. You keep quiet even when he's like that to you? Yeah, you should, uh, fight back. Tell him to make his own dang tea. Because of my stupid mistake, I was the one who destroyed his dream. Yeah, he did say something that it was Shara's fault that they couldn't fly the rocket. I wonder what happened. A little bit of Sid backstory time. And he, I guess he's still s reprimanding her. <laughs> you got some colorful language there, Sid old buddy. I'm sorry. Don't take so much time checking that <laughs> blah blah oxygen tank. <laughs> Being careful is good, but it won't do any good no matter how many times you check that oxygen tank. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, that thing, yeah, I guess. Trust in the equipment. You don't have to check it all the time. No buts. No buts allowed. You're not stupid, so be more efficient. Sorry. And here I go. He looks a little bit different. I think he has goggles now. I don't think he had goggles back then. Our dreams are finally coming true! We are so proud to be a part of the launch of Shinra number 26. We're also triplets. I don't know if you noticed that. Can't see how you wouldn't. <laughs> Preparations are complete. All that's left is liftoff. And Sid is doing like a hearty laugh, I guess. Leave it all to me. I'll be back in a few. All right, Captain. Fly our dreams into outer space. Thanks, guys. Praying for your safety. And then I guess this is, he's getting ready for launch. It looks like a spaceship. Well, I guess it is, but it looks like space. What am I saying? <laughs> I don't know. Engine pressure rising. Shinner number 26, three minutes to launch. Beginning countdown. Finally. But something's going wrong. We have an emergency situation. The mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. And... <laughs> Of course, I guess we know who that is. Activating the intercom into the engine system. say bleh, whatever it said. Yeah, it's Shara. Don't mind me, go ahead with the launch. Yeah, why, don't... <laughs> I was still concerned. The results of the oxygen tank test weren't satisfactory. Uh, so maybe Sid is the one in the wrong here, and he was trying to leave... Uh... Like... Preemptively? I don't know. It's gonna get so hot in there that they're gonna be shit when we blast off. You're gonna be burnt to a crisp! You're gonna die! You know that, don't ya? I don't mind. What? 
I can fix this, the launch will be a success. I'm almost done. I think I know what's going to happen here. Uh, we must start the countdown. We won't make it if we don't. But I believe I know what's going to go on. Cher is still there. So, yeah, if they cancel it now, it'll be another six months. Either launch or kill Shara. And I don't think even Sid uh, could live with that choice. Tank number seven? Okay. Once I complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Yeah, right? <laughs> Seems a little excessive. 30 seconds until ignition. Beginning countdown. Oh no! Stupid timer, no! Forget about Shara, we won't make it in time. Is that, like, the dudes telling him? What am I supposed to do? Can't we do anything? That countdown's still going. <laughs> but I guess we know what happens. Because Shara is still alive and the rocket did not launch. So, his dreams, they're flushing all down the toilet. And <laughs> Call it off while you can! Ooh, we got a little cutscene here. It's, whoa, wait, did it happen? Oh no, he stopped it. And yeah, I, I could see how that would be kind of damaging to the rocket. <laughs> and it like tilts. It's the leaning tower of rocket. And I guess, yeah, that's what we saw from the world map. <laughs> and that was weird. I guess that was like showing the passage of time. It's kind of cool. He pushed the emergency engine shutdown switch, aborting the mission to save my life. After that, the space program was cut back and the launch was cancelled. It's my fault this dream was destroyed. That's why. It's alright. I don't care what the captain says. I'll live my life for him. Well, I mean, I... On one hand, I kinda understand that, but on the other hand... I kinda don't. So I guess Shara, like... Became his servant or something after... He cancelled the rocket thing. I don't know. Hurry up and sit down, alright? Ain't my good hospital or ain't my hospitality good enough for you? I mean, I appreciate the tea and all, but I don't I think you could work a little bit on your people skills. They're late. Where's Rufus? Where is Rufus? Oh, it's that guy. Palmer, that's his name. Long time no see! So Sid, how have you been? Faint fat man Palmer. How long were you figuring on keeping me waiting? So maybe Rufus isn't coming. Maybe he just sent this dingleberry to talk to Sid. Yeah, when's the space program going to start up again? I don't know. The president's outside. Why don't you ask him? And <laughs> okay. Don't say fat. Yeah, that's not nice. Even though this guy is like kind of a scumbag. Or maybe he's not. Maybe he just stuck with Shinra because he wanted to put the space program back in action again. He doesn't seem too involved in their dastardly plans. He seems like he kind of just is a weirdo. Uh, can I have some too? Lots of sugar and honey, and don't forget the lard. Yeah, you know, everybody likes lard in their tea. What do you have to say, dude? Have we met before? <laughs> no. Not us. Yeah, we did. Didn't we run into this guy when we infiltrated the headquarters? He was, like, hiding or something after the old president was killed. And he, like, jumped away. Something like that. Got me all excited for nothing. What'd you come here for? And Rufus wants Tiny Bronco. So I guess Rufus never intended to put them into space. Maybe he just deceived Sid. They're going after Sephiroth. Seems like we've been going in the wrong direction. But now we think we know where he's headed. But we have to cross the ocean. That's why we want your plane. I guess that would make sense. First the airship, then the rocket, and now the Tiny Bronco. Okay. So, Sid, I'm guessing, maybe built uh, the airship that they use uh, at Shinra? We saw Rufus flying away in that in Junon, so that's kind of interesting. Shinra took outer space away from me, and now you want to take the sky away from me, too? Well, <laughs> you can't take the sky from me. You seem to forget it was because of Shinra Inc. that you're able to fly in the first place. What? Shara, what do you got to say? This way. No, don't let him get it! Oh, she's talking to Cloud. Pulling him back inside. 
you wanted to use the tiny Bronco, right? Yeah, I guess we could chase after Sephiroth if we had it. I believe Palmer is going to take it. Why don't you talk to him? I don't know how much sense we can talk into that guy, but uh, I don't know. I think we can overpower him. <laughs> he doesn't. He's not very imposing. What do I have to do this? I'm the head of the space program. Maybe we could just talk him out of it. He doesn't seem to really like the way things are going right now. We'll be taking that tiny Bronco. I've seen you somewhere before. I know, the Shinra building! When the pre Yeah, that's right, when the president was killed! Oop! <laughs> security! And okay, security popping up out of nowhere. Looks like a boss fight, though. It sounds like a boss fight. Is this- is this literally Palmer the fight? <laughs> uh... Don't do a butt pat. Don't butt pat. Alright, well, he's- looks like a fool, and we missed. But... <laughs> Nothing to steal, I don't know. I can't imagine this is gonna be the most difficult fight, but... Whatever, oh, he's got some powerful magic though, I guess. Yeah, let's throw some ice on him. This is weird. <laughs> cause, alright, we fought the Turks, but it sort of makes sense, cause the, well, come on, Vincent. You hit all those times way back then, and now you're like, you're dropping the ball on me, dude. Yeah, let's just do it again. And Cloud, uh, is it really worth summoning Odin on this guy? Why not? I don't care. I don't care. Alright, nah, that time, that time I hit. Goong Glance! And I think we'll sense too, when we can. Everybody made it a, a point to tell me that Odin can inflict death, I believe. Which is cool. Or... I thought death was just a status effect. So... I guess maybe he inflicts death on, like, normal enemies, because I don't think you can use it on bosses, but I don't use, really, summons on normal enemies, so I don't know. Alright, let's see, Palmer. You got- you kinda got a lot of HP, dude! <laughs> 6,000? That's not bad. That's, like, the best we've seen, other than the... The mugwump thing. Are we okay on? Yeah, we're okay on uh, HP. Eris has nullify fire. That's what her equipment is. I switched because I mentioned in the last episode that I realized that uh, the sp someone told me spirit didn't do anything, so I decided to put the nullify uh, equip thing on her. I think it's called fire ring. So yeah, that happened. Yeah, and other people have been telling me that I should try using those too because. They're really good. And I mean, I don't know, like, I'd probably be able to make much better use of those if I had played this before and I knew what kind of elements enemies had, but, uh, I don't, so I guess I just had to guess, but it's lucky that Palmer here can cast fire, so Eris will be completely immune to that. What is going on? Tiny Bronco is taking off. It's got a mind of its own. Or did he just, like, Indiana Jones that... Oh, uh, no, he's running away. <laughs> Shinra t t Trucker to the rescue! And is that the battle? That was easier than, like, I don't know. I think we could have taken him. Got an all materia. Eden? Eden? Eden coat? Hmm. I wonder what that is. Well, that wasn't very hard. Are we gonna get a plane now? It won't stop! Forget it, get in! Yeah, I guess we got to. <laughs> Hang on, Vincent! <laughs> Cloud, how are you flying that plane, dude? Maybe, is it like an autopilot or something? Because he was literally just standing on top of it. But I guess it was taken off before uh, Palmer even tried to get in it, so I don't know. Well, it looks like we're all just kind of hanging on. Maybe there's somebody already in the plane. No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, what's going on? Can we pick up Sid? He's running with it. I don't want him to think we stole it, because we didn't. But, I, yeah, alright, he's coming with us, so I like that. And oh no, we're shot. Hopefully we're not going down. <laughs> Look at this, what is that lightning? Tail's been hit! Oh, that's the, the tail being hit. <laughs> Emergency landing! Oh no! 
It's gonna be a big splash. Hold on to your drawers and don't piss in them. I wanna that uh, that that'll be the the the, uh, the video description, no doubt. We're going for a C, a C crash, which I believe is the safest way to crash a plane, or I always heard it was. I don't know. I've flown a lot in uh, my life, and for some reason, I don't know. It always seems like it would. It seems like it would make the most sense that you would crash into the ocean if you had to crash a plane. Can't we use it as a boat? <laughs> Do whatever you want. Looks like you're stuck with us there, city boy. Unless you're gonna swim back. I don't know. I'm history with the Shinra and I've given up on the town. Might as well come with us. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel stupid. So Shara is Sid's wife. I, like, in the back of my mind I had thought that. I guess she did say that to us in the, uh, in the last episode. I think she said I'm the captain's wife, and I didn't yet know that Sid was the captain, but then I found out he was, and I was like, oop. I was like, like, then I was like, is she Sid's wife, or is she not? But yeah, so she is. So that even sucks even more that he's being mean to her, ordering her around. Uh, oh, <laughs> wait, never mind. Okay, so she didn't say that. <laughs> My mind's playing tricks on me. Wife? Don't make me laugh. Just thinking about marrying her gives me the chills. What are you guys gonna do? I guess she acts like his wife, but he's not interested. <laughs> I can kind of see why. Going after a man named Sephiroth. We'll have to get Rufus of the Shinra someday, too. I don't know about any of that, but... What the hell? Sign me up. <laughs> How about it, guys? He's coming with us. Vincent's brooding over there on the, <laughs> on the right wing. Glad to be aboard, numbskulls. Yeah, anyone stupid enough to go up against Shinra nowadays has got to be a numbskull. I like it. So where are we headed? Uh, Shinra was going towards the Temple of the Ancients, or Sephiroth was. Rufus was going... okay. Is Sid saying that? Oh, I guess so. Really? Where is it, that Temple of the Ancients? I don't know. That numbskull kid was telling me he was heading the wrong direction, so maybe it's off this way? And, yeah, I guess we'll head for land, do some info grabbing. That name bothers me. Yeah, it bothers me too, Cloud. I don't like it. <laughs> I like these waves, though. Oh, and I guess we're Sid fixed the tiny Bronco, so now we can fly around. Press OK to get off, can't, or to get on. Cancel to get off. Can cross rivers, I guess, which is the difference between this and the buggy. Players can get on and off it on the beach. Oh, oh, it is like a boat. Okay. Uh, so, maybe we'll end up flying this at some point. But right now it seems to be grounded. Or watered. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, we got like a continent here. Or this part of the continent. Maybe we'll get off and see if there's anything going on around here. Because it looks like I can get up this way. And it looks like there's a town up there, too. So maybe we'll check that out. Uh, oh. Is this, like, on-the-map cutscene time? We gotta get Sid in the party, man. Wait, wait, wait! And it... Oh, it's Yuffie. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> what happened all of a sudden? Did something happen? I know this area pretty well. Gets pretty tough past here. Better get ready. Further down, I don't see any signs of danger. I laugh in the face of danger. Ha ha ha. Something unnatural in the way... There's something unnatural in the way Yuffie's acting always. <laughs> it's really tough. There they are. Catch them. Oh, great. Hey, the Shinra. Wait, so was Yuffie, like, leading them here? Or... These are the other guys from before, huh? What does this mean? You'll explain this later? And Yuffie says she has nothing to do with it. I don't know if we believe her or not. I guess she kind of just jumped on our party with us. We don't really know anything about her. I don't know if she even had good intentions. What do you mean this one? You had something else in mind? <laughs> I guess she was going to booby trap us. What should we do? Get him. Grab him and ask questions later. Well, great. <laughs> We're in a battle and Yuffie seems to have escaped. This came out of nowhere. I think you guys should definitely attack Vincent. What? It, what? Oh man, she stole all her materia! Yuffie! <laughs> Freaking Yuffie! 
Come on! Ugh. I don't know, is this like a side quest, or is this something we're supposed to do? I don't know. At least we got a Vincent here. He can provide us with some extra manpower other than just attacking. Oh, but they put him to sleep. Freaking dudes. We've never seen these guys either. And great. Of all the people that are the only one attacking, you know it would be Eris. He threw a grenade. We've actually got some items that uh, we can use that have magic on them. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know if we need it on this guy, actually. These guys are probably done pretty soon here. He's down. I don't know. But yeah, there was a... Uh, whatchamacallit. We got an item back on Mount Nibble. I actually got it off screen, but it cast, like, Quake 2. And I know we have some other items like that. Which, I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's not a bad thing to be able to just use without any cost. But I don't think it's worth it on this one dude. So we got this going. Seems like grenades have a pretty low accuracy, too. I don't know. That's it. <laughs> we can handle ourselves even without the materia. But it sucks. We gotta get it back. I don't think we could handle a boss fight without it. Freaking Yuffie running off on us. She just ganked it. I thought something was wrong, so that's it. Look, my materia's been stolen. Yeah, where is Yuffie? Good question. And they're all just like, <laughs> inexcusable. Seems as though all that she was after was our materia. Can't just let her get away. She ran off to the north. We must go after her and retrieve our materia back. Yeah, I agree with you, Vincent. Let's head north, I guess. I don't know, is Yuffie finally going to get some story? Is she not just a side character? We'll have to see. And are we, is this, alright, so this is back on the map. So maybe her village is, like, over that bridge or something? She ran off there or something with it? I don't know. Seems like we're gonna... That's probably where this is headed, because I see uh, the dot on the li this little island way down at the end. So I'm thinking maybe this is where Yuffie comes from, and she was just trying to steal materia from us. But I don't know. I think we're gonna... Actually, let's get Sid in here. Yeah! All right. Uh, we'll put him in over... I know, Eris. We'll take Vincent out, too, but I'll do that next time. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's check him out. How you doing, Vincent? Or, Sid, how you looking? He's at the same level as Vincent, which is good. Pretty close to Cloud. Uh, he would be pretty much at Cloud's level if we hadn't done a little bit of grinding. Seems like he's got pretty good strength. Uh, yeah. Let's see, I don't know. Magic looks okay. Spirit looks okay. So it looks like he's pretty good. I don't know, I can't... Right now I'm not seeing any strong point for Sid. Maybe that has to do more with his limits. But he definitely d seems like no pushover. Let's just check out his limit just for the sake of it. Boost jump. Attack an opponent. Okay. So maybe that's like... I don't know, I saw that he fights with a spear. And he has it like a jump for his limit. So I'm thinking maybe Sid is our Dragoon character. Let's look at his Materia. Oh, he doesn't have any. Okay. Yeah, because that's like the one, like, like old school Final Fantasy class. I guess it's not old school. But that's like one of like the big classes in this game, and we hadn't seen that yet. And I thought like Jump was just going to be a Materia, but maybe uh, Sid is just that. And if he is, that's cool, because those characters are some of my favorites to use. Like, uh, I don't know, Kane in particular. Uh, the Dragoon Knights, I guess they're called. But yeah, if that's what Sid is, that's neat. <laughs> but I'm gonna end the episode here, and next time, we'll chase after Yuffie. Did she steal all our materia? Yeah, she did. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're gonna have to get that back. <laughs> and now I see, I think someone left me a comment saying, like, you won't regret getting Yuffie, and I sure don't. <laughs> but, yeah, next time, we'll see if we can track her down. Till then, guys, I'm in Snack Attack 8, and I'll see you then. Later!